welcome to my Green Valley City. This urban environment is based on equity of opportunity to green regions. So as you can see, between every three or four buildings, there's a large green area, which here is symbolized by a golf course. I also put in some other features, such as this pet park, a jogging path, Deer Meadow, campsite, and some lesser known features such as a hoverboard terminal. As night falls on my city, you can see that a lot of the buildings have green features such as green rooftops, swimming pools, which also double as a rain catchment system. This building actually has a huge funnel on top of the roof, both these buildings do, to catch rainwater and then reuse it as either as filtered drinking water or perhaps as gray water for use in uh, the toilet systems and for washing windows or watering plants. This building, I like to joke that it's the home of people who love stairs. Perhaps there's no elevator at all, just stairs because these people really want to stay in shape. You can even see that on the roof, there's stairs there and people constantly climbing up and down the steps, kind of like a built-in Stairmaster to stay in shape. So this city would be a very active, part of the biophilic design where everybody's involved in some sort of participatory activity. Perhaps they set up monthly contests where people could, uh, for example, rollerblade with your pets around a course, or hoverboard. Um, you could do the traditional running or perhaps orienteering with a compass. So there's the center of this residence. residential area with the hospital, fire station, and of course the police precinct. And you can see that I used a little service road there to get the spacing right. And there's also the or organic food stall because this region um, has a local regional need where people must have organic food. Public library there for education. There's the deluxe organic food market which provides most of the needs of the city. And the contemporary art museum. So every two or three buildings, or four in some instances, has a large green area set out with water, grass, trees. You can see someone running along one of the paths there wearing white. Over here in the corner, there's a couple of green areas here, traditional farmhouses, the old farm showing early uses of wind power and perhaps offering children a chance to interact with animals or study um, agronomy, which is the study of uh, animal breeding. There's also a uh, eco shop where they can buy uh, various items like sandals, reusable bags, and I think that's a beach mat there, and also a large Ferris wheel. A decoration is with uh, Sakura trees, creating little Sakura parks. And notice what looks to be a large river. But you notice it doesn't flow out anywhere because this is all filtered water. This is the city's reservoir system. And uh, it's all filtered water. It's used as the backup water supply and also for swimming and uh, perhaps uh, you could even do some boating, rowing, for example. Another jogging path and some other parks here, like row of trees. So you might ask yourself, where's all the power and uh, waste management, all those things? This is purely a residential city. Well, across the bridge here, 
you'll find all the services such as water pumping stations, recycling center, wind power, sewage treatment, and a solar power plant. You can see I have a little factory here producing, uh, I think it's recycled, recycled fabric. And one nanotech factory here, which I usually use to produce glass or sometimes chemicals. So all the services are located well away from the residential area and connected across the bridge here with pipes and uh, electricity conduits. Another feature would be a large recreational area. If you follow the road all the way to the beach, you'll see there's lots and lots of recreation here covered wagons to a horse ranch, a floating lantern festival, a water park, a carousel, my favorite the Scandinavian Midsummer Festival, lots of camping over here so people could stay here for a few days, a western springs, old water mill, and a hot spring. So you can see that there's lots of options here for entertainment, just a short drive away from the residential city. The other side of this area is more of a touristy area. You've got a hotel. There you can see the sign for the hotel and another green area and some more buildings. So the buildings are all green, eco-friendly buildings. And here you've got the University Park Cafe, organic food market, a rabbit forest, a jogging path, a little known Tokyo town gate, and another rabbit forest, and another jogging path. So fairly symmetrical in the, in the offering of parks and green areas, both sides of town. And here's a baseball park matched by a soccer field on the other side, and then some beachfront property here. Notice there's no parking lots as all my vehicles are electric autonomous vehicles. They just drop people off and then go pick someone else up. So this would be more of an area designed for tourists or tourism, while the residential zone across the bridge is for people who live there permanently, or at least long term. Schools, education is primarily in the larger capital city, but I do offer one little nursery school there for people who don't want to take their children far away. Okay. Well, I hope you enjoyed this brief overview of my Green Valley, and I hope that you uh, find it inspirational for designing your own group urban designs, as these buildings are very eco-friendly, and there's a lot of uh, green space around the city as well. We pull back to see the overall layout. Lots of green area. And there's the island across the way.